Hello again. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, the Democratic Alliance has put forward Stevens Mukhalaba as its mayoral candidate to succeed Solim Simanga as Tswane mayor. Mukhalaba is uh, the DA's shadow minister of international relations. Now, this follows Solim Simanga's announcement that he would be stepping down as Tswane mayor to focus on his campaign for the premiership of Gauteng. Now on Thursday, Simanga officially tendered his resignation in a letter to the Speaker of the Municipal Council. His last day in office will be February the 11th. We're now joined uh, by Stevens Mukhalapa from our Pretoria studios. Um, Dade Mukhalapa, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Uh, I think let's start, uh, you know, with uh, you saying today that you're vowing to address ongoing issues relating to the city's big contracts. That's been quite a scandal within that office that you uh, are now being put forward to, such as the controversial 12 billion rand Glad Africa contract. How do you plan to deal with that? Thank you very much, Griselda, and good evening to you and good evening to the viewers. Well, let me firstly and humbly say that I'm quite humbled um, for and the confidence that the party has bestowed upon me. I do understand and acknowledge the task ahead, and I do understand the task and I am up to the task um, and I will definitely perform to the best of my abilities should the council elect me on the 11th of February. Well, as a point of departure, I think the most important thing to mention is that we need to and fast track and accelerate service delivery and that is what I intend to do. Now, part of the problem in Swani is because of the issue of Glad Africa involving the city manager. What I would want to do is to ensure that we follow through on the recommendations as stipulated by the Auditor General. There are remedial actions that the Auditor General has recommended and what I would do is to follow through and ensure that we follow the latter of the law. We are a party that believes in the rule of law and due processes and the constitution and our labor laws and we will follow through in terms of those principles. But however, the most important and fundamental point to put across yeah. is that that cannot happen at the expense of service delivery. I would want to fast track uh, service delivery, ensure that the quick and visible projects get to be implemented. So the strong point that I will be making is to let us fast track service delivery while we are simultaneously dealing with the issues of Glad uh, Africa and the accounting officer. Yes, and Dr. Mukhalap, I want to stay on that. Uh, obviously, this controversial 12 billion rand uh, Glad Africa contract, which is found to be irregular, and the PU Smart Meter contract. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, Simanga leaves this uh, position on uh, the February the 11th and uh, basically has been at loggerheads with the municipal manager, as you already pointed out. Uh, how soon... Um, are you prepared to deal with this issue? I don't really want to look at uh, issues of timelines. Is that one of the first issues that you plan to deal with post uh, the February the 11th? Yeah, as definitely as soon as possible. As you are aware that things always follow due processes. Uh, the DA-led coalition government had uh, two motions to suspend the uh, municipal manager that was turned down. The latest one was on the 31st of January. So you would understand that I need to follow due processes. Firstly, in reading and understanding the recommendation of the Auditor General and the remedial actions that are needed to, and reading to what my predecessor has been doing, looking at those council reports that were turned down and look at what were the issues and what was the problem and call in the accounting officer to give me the side of the story. So there is a legal, a parallel legal process that is underway. But what I will be looking at, it is the due process of counsel because of the accounting officer is an appointee of counsel. It's being appointed by counsel. So I need to look at what were the counsel resolutions, what were the issues that led to the motions being turned down and voted against so that I abreast myself into what remedial action I need to follow through. But quite importantly mm. is to ensure that I look at the Auditor General's report and what is it that it's recommending for remedial action moving forward. And like yeah. I said, in the same vein, making sure that service delivery is continuing.
We'll come to issues of civil service delivery very shortly, but uh, you know, some would say the resignation of Mr. Msimanga, uh, perhaps uh, some party insiders have told some media that uh, you know, Msimanga had become a liability uh, in the campaign to take over Gauteng because basically he was struggling to focus and dealing with crisis after crisis in Tswane. Of course, uh, his mayorship uh, had been rocked by a number of scandals, including revelations that his chief of staff had lied about his qualifications. Had Mr. Msimanga become a liability? Well, not at all. I mean, um, it is quite very much public, the reasons that the party and Mr. Msimanga has advanced on his resignation. The primary reason for Mr. Msimanga's resignation is primarily for him to focus on the premier campaign of Gauteng. Nothing else, nothing more. I think the administration under Mayam Singmanga have done quite a lot of work. You know, we have ensured that the EPWP is open to the public. We have uh, received a, a positive credit rating from Moody's that ensures that foreign direct investment and local investment is protected. We have attracted over 3.8 billion of investment in the automotive cluster. We have written off over 400 million of irrecoverable debt. So those are mammoth tasks. We have also sold the mineral uh, Yeah, but, but issues, issues of service houses. delivery, but Mr. Not Mukhalapa, a liability. Yeah, Mr. Mukhalapa, issues yes. of service delivery in Tswane are part of uh, some of uh, the qualms that uh, the citizens of Tswane have. How do you plan to ensure that uh, you know, some of uh, the challenges that were experienced and some of uh, the cries of uh, allegations of non-service delivery um, are actually uh, fast-tracked by uh, the Democratic Alliance? Yeah, definitely. You know, there are quite invisible projects that can be done. Um, quite easy projects of maintenance of roads, um, uh, projects of ensuring that there is refuse removal on, in time. I mean, if I give an example of the inner city as a face of government, uh, where a lot of government departments are, the city centre should be clean. And notwithstanding only the city centre, but even all the townships and, and the regions. And I think making sure that the street lights are working uh, those are quick and visible projects that people can see. Uh, and that is what I want to focus on, so that people can see tangibly the expedition of yeah. service delivery. Because in 2016, we promised people access to better service delivery. And that is what I want and want to intend to do. And that will be the focus of my 100 days in office, making those quick and visible projects that can show tangibly what yeah. the DA-led coalition government can deliver. Before we get to that 100 days in office, Mr. Mukhalap, of course, uh, your party would need the support of, the, of uh, the economic freedom fighters. Of course, without a have doubt. Spoken, I mean, yes, we all know we talk that. about 100 days, do you, have you spoken uh, uh, to, to, to the EFF? Well, what was going to happen now? Remember, I have just been endorsed today, and I'm now being presented to the public as the uh, candidate for the Democratic Alliance. So what needs to happen now before the uh, swearing in on the 11th is a question of consultation and negotiation and discussions uh, with coalition partners. We all know that we've got formal coalition partners who we've got a coalition contract with and those that we don't have, especially the EFF. Uh, we all know that they are kingmakers. We cannot disregard them. They are a part of, of local government. They are a part of Tswani, and they need to be engaged. So my engagement starting from tomorrow will also be to engage because of part of the duties of a municipal manager is to engage local stakeholders and the EFF are a part of the local stakeholders in Do you Swane. Think support and may you? I mention that there was good relations and strong relations that were built with the EFF by my predecessor and I intend to build on that. So definitely there will be discussions with the EFF. Do you think they'll support you? Well, um, I think the principle is one. Um, with the EFF we agree to disagree. Um, they have indicated that they support the DA on a case by case, on an issue by issue, on a vote by vote. And this is one of those uh, cases. Um, as long as we can come to a consensus and agreement that the, putting the people of Tswane first, it is the fundamental principle and ensuring that there is service delivery. If we agree on the principle of service delivery and putting the people of Tswane first, 
then I'm sure that we can find uh, one another. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us there. The Democratic Alliance, of course, putting forward Stevens Mukhalaba as its mayoral candidate.